Jennifer, don't make this worse than you already have. She was going to let him sign his rights away without ever knowing that he had a living, breathing child. How much worse could it get? I think we're going to need a few minutes. I'll be in my chambers. Is she right? Are you ever going to tell me the cabinet was mine? As we got back from Las Vegas, and we found out that both of our names were on the custody agreement, Cabot was yours, and you wanted no part of him. But that was because I assumed that we were going to get an annulment and that you wanted full custody. Well, we are, and I do. Nothing has changed. Except that Cabot is your child, Jordan, and you have a right to be a father to him. Well, Jennifer, I think that being a father should be about more than a biological accident, don't you? Well, who is it? Who is the mother? The birth mother? The name on the papers, I think, was Jane Courier. Well, I don't recognize the name. And I'm not the type of person who just, you know, would meet someone and... I mean, well, obviously, it had to ha have happened within the last year, year and a half. I did do some traveling in the past year, but oh, for business... Don't, well... don't torture yourself, okay? Look, for whatever reason, she decided not to notify you. Who knows? I mean, maybe because she didn't want Cabot to be a burden on you. and Or maybe because she wanted to know that Cabot was going to go to a, a home where he would be loved unconditionally, as he is, by me. Whoever set this up obviously knew the truth. Why else would they have Jordan marry you? The point is, we have an opportunity here to set things right. Well, we all know what you want, Rosanna. You want Cabot all to yourself. Cabot's my son. He's Jordan's son, too. Wait, 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 hold on. She loves him, okay? I've seen them together. We're on the same side. If that were true, then she would have come to you as soon as she suspected something. Instead, she and my brother concocted this plan to keep you in the dark. And thanks to you, I'm not in the dark anymore. You really should have told me. I know. I'm sorry. I was afraid. Things have been so difficult, I just didn't think I could handle any more problems. Why am I a problem to you, Rosanna? I have done nothing but help you. I know. You've been the best friend that anybody could ever have. The Cabot has been bounced from one home to another. He needs to know that he's safe. He needs stability. He needs to know that his home is with me, and that's not going to change. All I want is to be Cabot's mother. All I want is to be able to give him a good home. Let me do that. Please, I'll give him a wonderful life. Just sign the papers. If not for me, do it for Cabot. Cabot needs to. Then you'll sign the papers. Rosanna, you, you're Cabot's mother. I would never do anything to jeopardize that. But I am his biological father, and I need to take some time to think about what my responsibilities are. I'll take really good care of him. I know you will. Just, just give me a minute, okay? Sure, of course. Yes, you and Jennifer take all the time you need since so much of this hinges on her. What you both want. Paul. What matters here is the baby. I know what matters here. Piece of paper. Changes everything. But it doesn't. Not really. Please don't tell me you're thinking of signing your rights away. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Hello? Carly, it's me. Rosanna, where are you? At the courthouse. Did Jordan sign the papers? Not yet. Jennifer appeared with a copy of the DNA results. You might have warned me. Jennifer showed up here looking for Jordan. I was busy with the baby, and she just saw the papers on the table. How did he take it? 
They're holed up in the hearing room right now, talking about it. So he could still sign the papers? I don't know. I, he doesn't want to be a father. I think he's afraid he'll look bad if he gives up his son. So... So I'm praying he'll sign. But... Can you do me a favor? Is... Is Cabot still... Sleeping? Um, last I checked, he was just playing with his feet. I thought I'd leave him be. Listen, um, can you get him ready? Bring him over to the courthouse, pack a diaper bag with a couple of bottles in it. Um, I need you to do this for me right away. Carly? Yeah, I'm here. I need you to do this for me. Okay, all right, fine. As soon as you can. Okay. What you want? She wants me to bring Cabbage to the courthouse. ASAP. Then that's what we'll do. Jordan, you're the biological father. All that Rosanna can claim is that she tried to adopt him and failed. But the she, adoption was phony. She is Cabot's mother, Jen. She's a wonderful mother. This really isn't about her. It's about whether I want to be a father or not. You are a father. No, only in the most technical sense. I've never even held the kid. Well, I did once, at arm's length, because I was afraid he's going to dribble on my suit. I'm just, I'm just not cut out for this. Yeah, but you don't know that. Jordan, I remember you telling me what it was like growing up in an orphanage. You always wondered who you were and where you came from. But now you have a chance to belong to someone, to really belong. He's your child, your flesh and blood. You've never had that. Yeah, but at the moment, I belong to Rosanna. We're still married. If I want to get an annulment, if I want any sort of career, if I want a relationship with you, I have to figure out if I want this kid before I can even put my life into play. The judge is only available for a little while longer. That's all right. I've made up my mind. Cabot needs a good home. And I'm sure... With you, he will be provided with the best. I'll sign the papers. Thank you. Jordan, thank, thank you. I should have known that you'd take the high road. I'm so sorry I didn't confide in you sooner. I was just so concerned about finalizing the adoption. It's, it's understandable, given what you've been through. Paul, um, would you get the judge, please? Jordan, um, if you'd like to sign no, the papers I, I now, still don't understand why Jordan has to do this today. Jennifer, I appreciate your concern, but this is Jordan's decision. Would you sign away your rights to anything, let alone a child, without consulting a lawyer first, Rosanna? I don't think so. Now, listen, if you don't want to raise Cabot, then fine, let Rosanna do it. But he can still be your son. I'm sorry, that wasn't the agreement. You don't have an agreement, not yet. No, I know that being a father was not in your plan and that you feel like you're not up to it, but sometimes opportunities just get dumped in our laps and it's up to us to see the possibilities. This is your son, your little boy, and he's going to grow up wanting to know you. And, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think you're going to want to know him too. In all those years, wanting to know who your parents or if you had your... Your dad's eyes or your mom's smile. Okay, Jennifer, that is a very pretty and sentimental picture, but you and I both know that when it comes to fathers and sons, it's not always hearts and roses. Especially if you abandon your child. Jordan is not abandoning his He's child. He's abandoning himself. This is your son. And as the years go by and the birthdays pile up, you're going to wonder about him. Maybe. So don't you think that you to yourself to figure this out first if you sign these papers then you're never going to hold him or talk to him again can you live with that you owe it to cabot to make sure you have no regrets before you walk away you realize what this means for you and me he's your son whatever it takes i'm with you Come on, now, Jennifer. 